Okay, gang. So, I just wanted to take this opportunity. I've got my Weimars here all broken down, and I am doing some funny business to it. And um, here recently, Doug, uh, Indiana Doug, is trying to get to the bottom of, uh, you know, what's going on with these Zenoa clone Chinese chainsaws. There's a lot of different ones. Um, they've, well, they're good little saws. They're, I mean, they're not great, but they're good little saws, and so, and they're super cheap, and so they sell a lot of them. And they have all kinds of different colors and everything you can pick from. Uh, my particular one is a Weimars. And what I just wanted to do was to take a second and showcase um, what I found to be truth when looking at these Chinese clone saws. All right. So this is the 5200 cylinder. I am aiming to put it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. This is the 6200 cylinder that came on my Weimar 6200, right? So everybody says that the 6200 is um, 47.5 millimeter bore. 47.5 mm millimeter bore with a 34 millimeter stroke gives you um, 60.25 cc's. So they claim 6,200. No, it's more likely a 6,000. I mean, just, just call it a 6,000. That's cool. You don't have to call it 6,200. But anyways, um, well, a lot of people are back and forth constantly going, yeah, it, it's a 47.5 millimeter. Well, it has not been my experience. Okay, so quick measurement right here. Um, We are looking at 45.14. Oh, that one's changing. It's... Well, well, now it's 44. There it is again. 45 point, eh, that's showing up as 12. Anyways, it's 45.14. That's what the bore size is there. That's acceptable. It's a 45 millimeter bore. Maybe they put the 5800 cylinder on my saw, right? Um, but what is really weird is your piston. This is an Echo 590 piston, um, and everybody knows that the Echo 590 has a 45 millimeter bore. The good saws always. The piston is slightly smaller by about 15 to 20 thousandths of an inch. It is slightly smaller, or I'm sorry, by about two tenths of a millimeter. 15, 1.5 to 0.2 millimeters smaller than its claimed size because you need to give room in between the cylinder bore and the piston itself. It can't be the same size. My point is, is 45 millimeter is actually 44.8, let's just say. This is the 45 millimeter piston from the Weimars, but it's 45, 45.8, okay? So... The piston itself is actually bigger. So this is just kind of what I'm getting at here. This is just, I'm, I'm beating a horse that's already on the ground dead. But some people just don't seem to get it. The reality is, is you don't know what you have until you measure it. And even if you are getting a 47.5 millimeter cylinder and or piston that you have ordered off of eBay... Measure that shit, because these Zenoa Chinese clones, all right, some of them are made to the lowest possible standard, and so therefore you get stuff like that. This this piston is too big for that bore, all right. Now it fits, but it, it, there's not enough space there. It's not good, but that's not a big deal. The big deal is is if you were to actually buy a 45 millimeter piston for that cylinder, 
what you would get would likely be too small and you would never be able to build compression, all right? And if you thought that it was a 6200 cylinder, all right, because the saw was advertised as a 6200 and you just said, I'm going to go and buy me a different piston for this and you just assumed that it was going to be that 47.5 millimeter, well, you better measure it first, first, because if they send you a 47.5 millimeter, it ain't even going to go in. All I'm trying to do is tell people you need to measure what you got because just because you read it online does not make it true. <laughs> I, I, I seem to get a lot of folks, they read something on the internet about these Zenoa clones. And they immediately go, well, that's gospel. There you go. go. They, 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 they spout it out every time that they get asked about something. They go, the 5200 has a 31-millimeter uh, stroke and a 45-millimeter piston. The 5800 has a 45-millimeter piston and 34-millimeter stroke. The 6200 has a 47.5-millimeter stroke and a 34-millimeter, uh, 45.7-millimeter bore and a 34-millimeter stroke. Okay, listen, you read that. I get it. You've got some knowledge of what should be happening. However, it has been my direct experience with four of these Zenoa clone saws. I had a Kuchir, uh, I had two Weimars, uh, got a Blue Max over there. None of them are what they're claiming that they are. <laughs> None of them are. So, um, yeah, pull your caliper out and measure it. And then whenever you're on Facebook and somebody asks you a simple question, Hey, did you actually measure it? Or are you just going by what you think that it's supposed to be? You don't have to get upset. You don't have to be like, oh, oh, I dreamed it. Of course, I own it. I own a lot of saws and I don't check the bores on like any of them. <laughs> so I, I, don't, I don't know. Just because you own one doesn't mean that you check the bore. All I'm trying to do is be helpful and say, hey, check the bore, especially before you go buying any parts for it, because you don't know. This is a 6200. It's got somewhere in between a 5800 and a 6200 cylinder, because it's bigger than 45 millimeters. Barely. I mean, yeah, you would call this thing a 45 millimeter cylinder. You would. But if you go and buy a 45 millimeter piston for it, it's going to be sloppy in there. It's because this is, this is bigger than 45 millimeters. So if you buy a 45 millimeter piston and it comes in at 4.8 mil, uh, 44.8 millimeters, it's going to be sloppy and you're not going to be able to build pressure. You'll have, you'll have piston slap and everything. So, just trying to say, frickin' measure. And don't be dicks. <laughs>